Uh, this is happening on PC right now. But I was going to ask, how does the push block work in this game? Do you know if it's the same as Skullgirls or? I feel like it's the same as Skullgirls in the sense it's like it's free and it will. Um, the, I don't know if it scales with the strength of the room for how far you push back, but you, when you're push blocking, you can. I don't believe you can be thrown, and you cannot be hit low. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so not too different. Oleander. Oh, they have they have one of the nice colors too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oleander is the uh, main zoner, only zoner. Um, no, Velvet is a better zoner than Oleander. Oleander is more like an gotcha. all-arounder. Pretty good normals, pretty solid pressure. Um, and the ability to be like, I don't know if you played Persona 4 Arena, but she has the- A little um, bit, yeah. Yeah, she has the Shadow Labras function in the um, puppet thread. Gotcha. How does the, uh, the book meter or whatever that is work? So the book is her as her ma her magic stock. Tianho's magic you see on the left is what controls how long she's able to fly. With okay. Oleander, magic gives her access to power to versions of her spells. Like you see, that's um EX chapter, which requires all three stocks of magic. And some moves can only be used with magic, which is um also the, the chapter um, trap that she puts out. She okay. only ever used the um the hev the heaviest one, which requires all three bars. But that's a move that typically costs one. Her teleports also cost the bomb bar meter. The only one not costing anything being the one that teleports you further away. Okay, gotcha. And then, do all of the characters have that magic bar, or are there any that don't? Yes, every character has a magic bar, and it tracks the character kits in various ways. Oleander, it gives her access. You can see the, um, the combos here, some loops. <laughs> very, very fun stuff. Thing. Seeing the summon for sure, that looks really scary. <laughs> it's very scary. It, as long as Fred's out, it is always Oleander's turn, even when it's something's punishable. Gotcha. Does it go away when she gets hit or anything like that? Or it There's just a, stays out for a set a amount of time? It's a set amount of time. You will see it Ooh. when she uses it, it's above her super meter. You gotcha. have to respect it for, I believe, all of 15 or 20 seconds of in-game time. Oh my gosh, that's rough. It you just got to make sure that she doesn't get the chance to use it in the first place, or? It's it's basically like that, because she's only ever going to use it as part of a combo extension, or as a full screen punish for like a whip projectile in Velvet's case, tele um, punishing Paprika teleport, stuff of that nature. Okay. And it that costs two bars, because it's um, a 1 plus 1 super. So okay. It's very resource two bars but, and oh, the oh. magic meter, right? No, it doesn't or... cost her any magic to use it. It costs um it just costs super meter for it. Oh, okay. So it's a very powerful tool, but you so like when if she's ever has it, you have to respect it. You have to recognize that the game is in her control now. Now it's my turn. There's a couple things like that that I've seen in Skullgirls, but they're like a couple seconds at most. Twenty seems twenty feels Ooh, like boy. a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that can be forever in a fighting game. It is. It really. If you could have a game where Oleander's kind of behind, but the moment she puts Fred out, suddenly the person who's with the life lead has to play very cautiously. Because <laughs> hey, yeah, Savage, is... Savage is, is looking very strong, actually. Cryo actually got something started there. Went for. I don't know if that was like a tiger knee overhead or just some grounded move, but definitely no, I worked out. That for is a. Um, it is a. Is a Leaps are grounded overhead. If not, it's just um, a quick jump into flight and then use and then it's a high. Hmm, that'd make sense, yeah. All right, also, if you guys in chat have any questions, feel free to ask them. Oh, nice, nice air, air throw. throw. Fortune Tianho is one of the characters who doesn't get to convert off of their air throw. Hmm, just kind of a positioning thing. Yes, oh, definitely man. just kind of a positioning thing. Yonho's the flyer, but Oleander oh, was just that's back a, and forth that's over him. a very nice combo. Um, so she used the EX Shadow Spark, which is on the fireball. When you EX it, it wall sticks instead of just um letting, just sending them to the floor. Gotcha. And then they use EX Teleport, which is the only teleport that has an actual hitbox behind it. 
As you'll see, this time they're setting up for uh, positioning, and then they're gonna put down the pressure of Fred in the corner, converts the overhead. Yeah, so is there any option that Cryo really has here that isn't just successfully block for a long time? Oh, what an unfortunate drop. A very unfortunate drop. The only the only option is um, cross cancer or the um, counter assault if you play Blaze Blue. Gotcha. Where you spend, I believe, half a bar and you just get an invulnerable push block, uh, push away attack. Sends them back full screen, resets to neutral.